So, boss, you know, I've just finished talking to John Juguna. Yeah. And George has been extremely gracious to allow me to talk to at least two engineers in his team. So let's start quickly by introducing yourself and then we'll go into this conversation. Thank you so much, Ali, for being in your podcast. I'm John Mashare Karaoke, and I'm a technical product owner within the quality engineering space. So, George. Yes. A day, in, a day in the life of an engineer, you specifically at Safaricom. Okay. So, Ali, I just told you I'm a technical product owner. Yes. So, a day in my life is What does that mean? The technical product, product, product owner. Technical product owner. Yes. So, I'll just break it down as technical mm -hmm. and the product owner. Okay. So, when it comes to the product owner, mm -hmm. I'm in charge of a certain service or okay. a product. Okay. That's from its inception to mm -hmm. how we build it, design okay. it, all the way to the release plan. From beginning. Yes. From, from the beginning, greenfield yes, to from operational. What the customer asked for mm. or what the business came about. Okay. So, let's talk about what the customer asked for. Yes. How do you how do you get that? What's the customer ask for? You know, lots of times yes. companies just pay lip service to yeah. what the customer wants. Yeah. So talk to me about that specific, what the customer wants, the feedback loop, and you feed that back into the product. Yes. So Ali, we use a methodology called mm. Agile. Okay. And Agile we have Scrum. Okay. So there's a whole feedback loop mm -hmm. where you're able to pick the requirements okay. from maybe the market visit okay. or, you know, the, your product would also mm. be internal. So you have the tribe reviews where mm. you can show your product or your POC mm. and someone advises you, mm, yes, we like it. Maybe just improve on this and that. So from that, I'm able to come up with a whole backlog. So from the backlog, at least a list of items. Okay. And from the backlog, there's always prioritization. Yes. You cannot pick everything. So how do you prioritize? So in terms of prioritizing... Uh, first, but first, before you answer that, yes. you talked about market visit. Yes. You know, I have I have something that I love to talk about every time. Yeah. Vitukwa ground. Vitukwa ground, being customer-centric. Yes. Yes. We always sit and talk about stuff yeah. in the offices, yeah. but do we go to the ground? Now, when you go to ground... What are those things that you pick and how do you prioritize? So, one, Agile. Agile is a methodology. So, it becomes a mindset. Okay. That I know I have to, I want to reach out to Ali. Mm. So, I'll go, have my market visit with Ali. Mm. And I'm like, Ali, we have this product. Or oh, it's a new product or it's mm. an old product. What is your experience? Mm. And Ali, you come up, you can have the NPS. Okay. Or even Ali, you can even now engage me mm. directly. I'm like, yeah, I don't like this product. If you're able to, tweak this or add this, mm. I would actually love the product. So from that, I'll have a list and I'll meet another Ali. Okay. And same thing. How do you like this product? What can we do to improve it? Or even, you know, test it. Test it right now and tell us what is so your you experience. So you work with real-time personas? Yes. We work with real-time personas on that. So get the backlog, meet the team. And of course, the team now, it's that's where we are able to see what mm. can we prioritize. Mm. And we come up with what we call the 80-20 rule. Mm. What, if we use 20% of effort, what mm. will give us 80%? And that way, we're able to see, okay, yeah, if we use slight effort on this, but we can maximize on the effort, uh, maximize on the value, that's what we'll pick. So Ali wants this, had a list of all this, but some are crazy because they need more effort, means they need more time. But we don't want Ali to wait for this. Mm. Our competitor might give Ali before before us. Correct. Meaning the correct, redundant. Correct. So we look at it. What can we give Ali in the next two weeks? And after that, we're like, Ali, first take this. Then after this, we'll build on this and build on this. That way we become customer-centric to you. We have faster release to you. And we're also maintaining quality in what we're building. So those come in those two upgrades that we see yes. in the application. We iterate on them. Uh -huh. Iterate on uh -huh. them. So it's as I said, it's a mindset. The agile mindset, so, iterate and collaborate. So and on communicate. a typical month. Yes. How many upgrades would you be doing? On a typical month within my space, we have something we call the PI yield. Mm. We always need to calculate how do we know we are improving, how mm. do we know we are slacking. So PI, the PI yield, yield. Yes, PI yield. So what PI yield is com is how we calculate it is we'll have commitments for the month. Mm -hmm. And most times we say, let's have maybe four releases. Mm. So we have commitments. Most times commitments might come more. So we have six commitments. Mm. And by the end of the month, we need to know how many of those commitments did we, able, can we say are done? Mm. And then we say, we maybe we did three. So three out of the total six, that gives you half. 
so we can see you had a PIE yield of 50%. But Interesting. we have targets also for our PIE yield. Okay. And our target is 90%. So you also, as a technical product owner, I need to Not know... Not 100%. 90 to 100 <laughs> we're getting there, there we're there's maturing always, there's always room for improvement yeah, room right? for improvement yes so as a technical product owner, i know what ali is capable of okay. i know what someone else is capable okay. of and i'm able to say no we can't be able to really make mm. all these releases mm. in a month let's commit to maybe this amount okay because now i'm able to understand technically what are your technical abilities mm. no you might not be able to do that yes. but we can decide no you pull that person there he'll assist you on this and then be able now to work towards a 90% PI yield. So, just as we wrap up. Yes. How do you deal with B2B customers and B2C customers? There's, there's always some difference there. Or is it all the same? Say, on the Daraja platform. Okay. Um, one of your major uh, partners, a bank, comes to you and says, hey, dude, we need to sort out this thing. Yes. Some something to do with security or something to do with the speed of of transactions. How do you deal with that? As opposed to the guy on the ground who's a direct customer. Okay. Or consumer. So the first thing is you need to understand your requirements. Mm. You're customer centric. You can't just go and force something down the throat Correct. of your client. Correct. You have to understand what it is they have. Mm. You have a list. Then now you need to understand the severity of what it is is it critical because if it's critical or major this is something you you must pick now okay if it's low this is something you can convince them you know what let's take some time mm. and then now you also build a priority okay. list okay. you you've built us you know it's how severe it is mm. and what's the priority is it okay. high medium or low okay and then now we always talk about stakeholder management mm. now. that's where now also as a tpa you come in okay and you can have a sync with maybe the app PO on their end, mm. and you're like, yo, look, this is really, this mm. is really, this is um, really severe and critical. Can we have two teams working on this? Our okay. team and your mm. team, we come okay. together and be able now to churn or mitigate maybe the security risk we are at. But there are also other things that you need to also convince them. Mm. Hey, this is not that major, but mm. can we uh, first churn mm. this and then we can give you, you know, we work with time frames in terms of the sprints. Yes. Maybe in two sprints, we can be able now to pick this item. And we can be able to deliver it maybe to you in maybe four sprints or something. But the idea is bit by bit. I you have to you. convince them. I get you. Yes. I see now the conversation around agile sprints. Sprints, yes. Uh, the feedback it loop. comes natural. natural. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. Yes. How long has that taken to get you guys to that? To that. I'll, I'll give tribes, my... Tribes. You do tribes. Uh, you do you. I'll, I'll be honest on this. Mm. I came when they had just picked that up. I see. But it really changed my outlook. Because okay. before I was used to a waterfall mm. way mm. of working, mm. where I was working before. And now I was put right into a squad. Mm. Can I call it squad? Or mm. where I was now a software developer engineer in testing. And one thing we needed to do is shift left. Mm. Shift left means you're testing at every stage from design, Fantastic. from Fantastic. when they're building Fantastic. to even when you're about to release and to the UATs. So this one meant you needed to adapt to that agile methodology of way of thinking. I love this. Yes. One last question. Yes. Before I release you. COVID. Post-COVID now. Yeah. The new normal. Yes. Uh, I see a lot of people here, but I also know for a fact that there are also quite a number yeah. working remotely. Remotely, yes. How has that affected your ability to collaborate in real time, uh, get into a mindset of uh, discipline on getting things done and all that? And the organization obviously is supporting that yes. very well. Yes. How has that affected you personally? Culture is, I think, the most important thing when you think about all this. Mm. And the organization, leadership gave us mm. what we call agile coaches yes. just to help us improve on our processes and our culture. Mm. That every day I know there's a stand-up I need to mm. attend. And what is the importance? Mm. I'm not forcing you, but mm. I want you to understand the importance of mm. collaboration. Mm. And after two weeks, we'll have a review. review. We'll have a retro. Mm. What went well? What did not go well? What can we improve on? And then we plan again. So every two weeks? Every two weeks. Nice. And then now at the end of the month, we have now what we call a tribe review. Mm. So all these codes are mm. belong to different tribes. Mm. So your tribe also, you come together. You come together. And show what have you guys been able mm. to do. So this one really helps in whether you're online, mm. or whether you're physical. 
it really helps that balance. So it forms that culture. And the good thing, these coaches are always there to keep, you know, reminding us Brilliant. what is the value, Brilliant. what is the outcome Brilliant. when you adapt towards the agile mindset. Boss, thank you so much for your time. I know you thank guys you so are much, super Ali. busy. So yes. asante sana for this thank you so much to have this conversation with thank you. Thank you so much, Ali. All right. Cheers. Have a good day. Thank you. All right.